All right, so let's go through some open AI or chat GPT, and that's the, that's the big player in the space right now. That's what we've all have seen in the news and can understand. And I actually have done this in the hotel space, so I've adapted this presentation for the restaurant space. Now, keep in mind, I used to own a digital agency, and I used to work in the hospitality space, and we used to be on a retainer, just like if you work with ad agencies externally, right? Your ad agencies do this today as it relates to SEO. So one of the key terms you will hear in this space is a term referred to as prompt engineering. So everyone's worried about AI taking over jobs. The reality of the situation is, yes, it will probably make some jobs not as relevant. However, the new job opportunity is, can you use artificial intelligence as a tool, right? So really, if you think about artificial intelligence, it's really another tool. It's just like a browser. It's just like code, right? It's just another tool set. It's a little smarter than most tool sets, and it's intuitive, and it has reasoning that will blow your, your, your socks off. But ultimately, at the end of the day, it's still a tool. And you can see, I have started a prompt in ChatGPT. And the first thing I say, I want you to act as an SEO expert. So just like Amy Adams says, I have given the artificial intelligence its intent. I'm telling you what I want you to be, right? Because you could be anything. I could say you could be a lawyer, you could be a doctor. But in this case, because by the way, ChatGPT is trained on something like 500 billion parameters, each one of those subsets of seg uh, content. So I'm telling you, I want to be an SEO expert and provide me a keyword list of, for a high-end steakhouse located in downtown Chicago. I've given it all its parameters, right? Now, again, I used to run a digital agency. I used to give this to my data analysts, and they would take hours to do this work, and they'd do all the research. And I sped this up for the benefits of the presentation. Chat GPT isn't this fast, but it's good. But you can see, within seconds, I got 20 highly optimized keywords. Now, are they all perfect? Probably not. But from an iteration perspective and ideation perspective, I got a starting list. I don't have to start from a blank piece of paper, right? And I can do further research. And then get into the whole prompting aspect, if I wanna have a follow-up question behind the AI, and this is where the intuitive aspect of AI really comes into play, because I don't have to ask it, say, don't forget I told you about SEO. I'm gonna continue this exercise and I was like, all right, and, it, and on top of that, ChatGPT takes the time to explain, you see this description at the bottom, it's important to use these uh, keywords naturally, right? That's an SEO thing, right? To how to actually use the words without overdoing it so you don't get trapped by Google and other platforms. So it's giving me advice. Now, it's interesting, and kind of going down the prompt engineering exercise, um, I read an article, and still true to, to, uh, trying to find out if this is true or not, but the rumor is, if you're nice to the artificial intelligence, and give it uh, uh, nice thoughts, it actually gives you better results. So you'll see, I say very nice because I'm validating the results it gave me the first time. It has now learned that he asked me this question, his intent, right? And I understood it, I delivered, he said very nice, so that marks it as a successful response. And by the way, ChatGPT, or OpenAI for example, they record all of this, right? So every time you use this, this is public, right? So anytime you use ChatGPT, they're recording all of your questions, all the responses, and they're determining its effectiveness. If I were to copy, there's a little copy button at the top of this to say copy this, they flag that as a successful response, meaning it was good enough that the user copied the content, right? So it makes sense. So I say very nice and thank you. I'm being nice to the AI. Now please continue as an SEO expert. Again, re-emphasizing the fact that I want it to be an SEO expert and provide me with two paragraphs of SEO optimized content based on number 10 and 11. I don't have to tell it what 10 and 11 are because guess what? It's an intelligence, it remembers what 10 and 11 were. So all I do is say give me 10 and 11, which I believe are winning, award winning steakhouses in Chicago. And I do that and I say again, being very nice to it. And in seconds, it's gonna give me two paragraphs of SEO optimized content. I used to have a staff of copywriters that focused on writing content for SEO purposes, right? And within minutes, seconds really, I get two really good SEO optimized sets of content. Now, I may have to tweak this, it may not be on brand for me, I may have to change a few aspects of it, but again, as a starting point, it's pretty good, right? And in addition to that, as part of your prompt engineering, you can set a brand focus. You can say, I want you to sound like, I want you to respond like a five-star restaurant. I want you to sound like a French restaurant or a steakhouse. Whatever the case may be, whatever that tonality is for your brand, you can specify that in your prompt, and that's the content you're going to get back out. So 
And by the way, as a digital agency, I used to charge a pretty hefty retainer to do this work, right? So now you can do it yourself in minutes. So I again reaffirm that the work that the AI gave me was excellent, excellent work based on these paragraphs that you've just given me. And the copy keywords provide the create the HTML meta tag. So again, in SEO world, you have to put some meta tags at the top of the page. And I could have even said, hey, build me a blog post, the full HTML for the blog. And in a second, it's going to go through and actually start to create the HTML needed, right? So I could give this to my web development shop and say, hey, drop this HTML or these meta tags onto the page. And now I have done keyword research, created the copy for a high-end steakhouse in Chicago. And now I actually have the HTML code, the, the meta tags, if you will, at the top of the page. And again, ChatGPT, putting on its SEO hat, reminds me that, hey, you have to make sure you how to use these meta tags the right way, effectively, and so forth and so on. So within a couple of minutes, I have built a keyword-rich set of content focused on my particular restaurant, along with meta tags that I can hand to my development shop in seconds, right? So I'm going to take it a step further, and I'm going to show you via prompt engineering how I'm still in the same session. It still knows that we're talking about SEO, we're talking about award-winning steakhouse in Chicago, but I'm changing its role. I'm now saying you're no longer all right, now I need you to switch roles, and you are now the director of marketing. You've been promoted, right? Um, and for the same steakhouse, you have a budget of $40,000. And I want you to notice, I didn't say $40,000. I put 40K, I abbreviated on purpose, right? So I'm using slang, if you will. 40K per month on spend of a digital advertising. Please provide a breakdown of the best way to spend this in a table format. So not only am I asking for it to give a budget, I want it in a table format. And oh, don't, don't forget, you're a director of marketing and you have $40,000 to spend. Now check this out. And this is a new feature that uh, ChatGPT just came out with recently. So again, you're the marketing director uh, for SEO. And we have a $40,000 budget and a table format. And this is going to go really fast. I don't pause it on purpose just so you can kind of see. But look what happens. ChatGPT says, I have two responses. Which one do you prefer? Right? And then I'll continue going on. I want to see the rest of the results. And the responses are completely different. I'm getting a budget. I'm getting a detailed explanation as to why I need to spend that money on those particular items. And again, this is a $40,000 campaign per month. And, and, and actually, in this, I didn't save this in the video, but I basically said I like the first one. Again, another set of validation for ChatGPT. So if someone else came in and said, hey, I need a budget for SEO, SEM, it has some validation that this particular type of plan makes a lot of sense, right? So you can start to see where the artificial intelligence is getting smarter, it understands, it has an understanding of what you're talking about, and actually can deliver you a couple of choices to choose from. 